Hey YouTube, this is Lucy from kbeautyhopper.com. Today I'm going to show you some of my favorite beauty tools and make sure to watch till the end because I have a little bonus tool that you probably did not expect. These are in no particular order. The first one is a B Pure Scalp Massager. It's a little dingy because I use it all the time so there's some water spots on there. I try to clean it off. It has these rubber feeling soft little combs, little fingers, and you're supposed to apply shampoo to your a wet hair and then before rinsing it out, just use this to kind of rub, massage the scalp. It can improve circulation. It feels really, really good. And then it just helps remove more buildup and sebum and those kinds of things from the scalp. But mostly it just feels very relaxing and nice. And plus, improved blood circulation sometimes can mean healthier hair or better hair growth. So I really enjoy this and I use this all the time. Number two, and I'm super late to the party, is an ancient Chinese tool called Gua Sa. It looks like this. Now, if you've seen a lot of skincare videos, you probably say, well, they're usually stone, and that's true. The ones that I've seen are usually jade or sometimes quartz, or sometimes probably a glass that's stained to look like jade and then sold at a, you know, sold pretending to be a good deal. Mine is stainless steel, and I really, really, really like it. So it's obviously way more durable than jade. I have nothing against jade other than I personally would probably drop and crack mine right away. But the stainless steel one does not absorb any of your skincare. It's easier to clean off. It doesn't cost very much at all. I got mine on Amazon. I'll put links in the description box to everything, but I paid under $12. I think it was $10.99 plus tax. So I love it and it works really well. It promotes lymphatic drainage, improves circulation. What I really love about these versus jade rollers, for example, is that you can really get into the tense areas of the face. I have some tense, like almost like muscle knots in my jaw and right here and then around the brow region. And this just feels so good. Use it with facial oil, usually toward the end of my evening routine. It's very relaxing. You sit around the neck as well. There are lots and lots and lots of videos on YouTube on how to use these. I watched a few and started using it myself and I love it. It's such a simple tool but it really relaxes the face and even helps a bit to smooth out my fine lines because a lot of them are just from me tensing up throughout the day without realizing and making kind of faces. And then eventually as we get older, all those lines just start to kind of stay. Next thing is Foreo Luna Fofo. And if you've seen some of my skincare routine videos, you'll, you've heard me say that I don't think this is a necessary thing. And I still don't think it's a strictly necessary thing, but I have this new appreciation for it. To be honest, I always thought this was kind of a gimmick until I started watching James Walsh's, Walsh's videos. And of course, if you're watching this channel, you definitely know who James Walsh is and he loves all of his Foreo tools. So I thought, okay, fine, I'll give it a serious shot. I will actually use this daily or almost daily with my foaming cleanser in the evening and see how it goes. And surprisingly, my pores are looking a lot better and I'm having way less congestion and even fewer breakouts. So I think this is working. As far as the little feature of the Foreo Fofo where you're supposed to be able to put these against your skin and it will measure your hydration levels, I it still feels a bit gimmicky to me. Perhaps I'm wrong, perhaps I just don't understand how this technology works. But just as a vibrating silicone cleanser, this is really nice. And this is definitely way more gentle than the spin brush type things that so many people are into. Those are just way too harsh for me and I don't want to use them. But this is very nice. They're just little silicone bristles and it's waterproof and super easy to use. And I've had this for a very long time and it still has not ran out of battery. I'm actually not even sure what sort of battery it takes, but it makes this really soft hum and it vibrates very very pleasantly and based on the reading that you can get with this and the app on your phone it will actually customize a cleansing routine for you 
I don't think you have to get this specific brand to get the benefits of the vibrating silicone things, but you know, just pick something up if you're curious and see how it works for you. The next thing is probably a little strange and they are Shiseido facial razors. If you've seen anything about derma planning or anything about face shaving, the razors are usually straight. It's usually a straight edge, one stick basically like this with a razor on the end. And you'd see people shaving kind of this way. And I had those razors as well. I had the Shiseido ones, I have the Tinkle brand razors, and some people use them for eyebrows. I am horrible without with eyebrows, but I like it for like upper lip hair or sometimes around the cheeks. I can't say I'm hairy because I'm not, but I do have some blonde hair just like most of us do on my upper lip and I don't like it. I used to wax it, but that's very irritating. Threading right now, I'm just not going out too much for that kind of thing. And shaving really is a lot less traumatic for my skin versus waxing or even threading. And it's just an easy way to do it. But with those straight eraser things, you have to get the angle just right or you either end up not getting the hair off, or you end up scraping the skin too hard, which happened to me as well. Well, these Shiseido razors, they, it's the blade is exactly like those straight razors. It's exactly the same looking blade, but the handle is so much easier. So it looks like this. And you may be asking, how is this different from a razor that you use on your legs? Well, it is, and I have a hard time actually explaining why, but this is different. I never nick myself with this, but I've tried using regular razors on my face before and they're too big and too clunky and a lot of them have a gajillion blades, which is probably nice if you're a guy with really thick facial hair or if you're shaving your legs, but for me that's too much, too much friction, too much irritation. These work amazing and I love this handle so much more than the straight up thing. And don't worry, if you have never shaved your face and you wanna try, it does not make your hair grow thicker. Like, I wish it did. If it, if it really worked like that, I would shave my whole head and get thicker hair, but it just doesn't work like that. And no, you're not gonna get stubble. It, it just, no, it will grow back. But, you know, I can go for months and months and months without doing anything to my face and it'll, it, it's fine. Don't worry. If you're curious, try it. And now for a bonus beauty item. I picked this up almost as a joke. I was buying some e.l.f. brushes and a sponge and some other stuff recently. I don't know, I just wanted to try some of their things. And I saw they had this. It is, they call it a selfie light. It's something like glow as you go or glow on the go. It's a clip for your phone and you clip it to where the camera and they meant like your, your forward or the selfie camera is right in here and then there's a little button right here that you push and it's like a mini ring light and you can push it again and it gets brighter and you can push it again and it gets even brighter this is so cool <laughs> so i am not a huge selfie person i take selfies for my blog kbeautyhobbit.com and my instagram at kbeautyhobbit but what i have used this for is on the regular, the front camera, the good one, <laughs> the one that I take pictures with of products and stuff. And when the light is less than ideal, I just clip this baby on and turn it on one or two clicks or whatever, and boom, it lights everything up just like my ring light does. Except my ring light is ginormous and kind of hard to adjust and it's heavy and have fun angling it just right to point at a tiny product you're trying to take a picture of. This is amazing. So whether you are a selfie enthusiast or you just take lots of pictures like food pictures or whatever, I'm sure there's something else. I'm sure there are other things for your phone that you can use for the light. Probably e.l.f. was not the only company to think of about something like that, but this is the one I have. It was fairly inexpensive. I I can't remember. I'll put a link. It's 10 or maybe $12. I mean, compared to e.l.f. prices, actually, this was kind of a lot. But just compared to other tech stuff, not that bad. And I am having so much fun with it. This is very useful to me personally. And I think it could be useful to anybody who takes pictures either of themselves 
or of food or whatever else, whatever you're Instagramming, this is great. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope this was, if not useful, then at least entertaining. I would love if you left me a thumbs up or down and a comment and subscribe if you haven't. I will be putting up my next video soon. And until then, please remember to always listen to your skin. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.